Organizing our leg is very important to the success of our communication. 80% of our riding happens from the waist down. It's very important that our saddle sits us properly so our leg can hang in the proper position. We want to think first about where our leg sits. So we want to think about toe behind the girth. I don't care if you're in Western tack or English tack. I want to sit people very similar. So toe behind the girth, what that does is moves my leg back and starts to send more horse in front of my leg. If I ride with my leg at the girth, I've cut my horse in half and it's very tough for me to send my horse in front of my leg. So toe behind the girth and I want to think heel down. How we want to organize our body is all in a linear line, shoulder, hip and heel. And we really want to try and maintain that straight line, shoulder, hip and heel. I often have lengthy conversations about where people connect with their leg on their horse's rib cage. I run into a lot of answers that people use their upper thigh. Now when I squeeze with my upper thigh, it actually takes my lower leg off my horse. My lower leg is my steering wheel. That's what's guiding and driving my horse. So I need to connect lower on my leg. Also, when I squeeze my knees, it closes my pelvis. We talked earlier in the, in the pelvis, we need to have it open to create space for the wither and the back to come up. So it's very important where we connect with our leg. That sweet spot on our leg is where our Achilles tendon and our calf muscle meet. It's lower on our leg than most people think. The reason for it to be low is I want to get under the widest part of my horse's barrel when I ask him to engage his abdominal muscles and bring his back up. If I squeeze with my calf, I'm connecting with the widest part of his barrel, so it's very hard for me to bring his belly up and ask him to be light and collected on the forehand. How we connect with that sweet spot is achieved by just turning our toes out just slightly. I don't want people to ride with their toes pointed out at 90 degrees from their horse's rib cage, but I would like you just to turn your toes out and that puts that sweet spot right on your horse's rib cage. Now you should have the slightest bit of contact on that sweet spot on your horse's rib cage on both legs when you're in forward motion. That is your steering wheel. There's two conversations I want my leg to have with my horse, a lift and a squeeze. It's very important that we differentiate between the two for our horse. When I want him to go forward, I want to use a squeeze. When I want him to lift his abdominal muscles and come up, I want to use a lift. So a squeeze is I just take my toes, both toes, and I pull them back a little bit more and that sends him forward. The other thing I want my leg to do is lift. So to achieve lift, I think about pointing my toe to the ground or bringing my heel up. When I bring my heel up, it shortens my Achilles tendon and it's telling the back of this rib cage to send forward and up into this area. Now, if you think about our pelvis, we've already made an opening. So what I'm doing now is trying to send this rib cage up into the opening. It's very important when we're doing flat work that our stirrups are adjusted properly. If our stirrups are too long or too short, it's very hard for us to find that base for our body to balance on. General rule of thumb, when you adjust your stirrups, if you take your leg out of your stirrup and just let it hang, that iron or stirrup should hit just at your ankle bone. You should not ride with your stirrup or your iron in front of your heel. It also makes it difficult for us to ride with our toe behind the girth and get our heel in the back of the horse's rib cage to send that horse forward in front of our leg. It's also very important that when we ride, 
we have our foot positioned in our stirrup properly. The iron or stirrup should be underneath the ball of your foot and that makes it easier to turn your toe a little bit and kind of lock that stirrup in position. You should not ride with your stirrup or your iron in front of your heel. This poses a safety risk. If something were to happen, it's very hard to get your foot out of the stirrup. It also makes it difficult for us to ride with our toe behind the girth and get our heel in the back of the horse's rib cage to send that horse forward in front of our leg.